Today we'll be discussing the process of how to perform a backup on your Tenable SC application installed on Red Hat or CentOS 6 and 7. First, make sure that you are logged in as the root user on the Tenable SC hardware. Verify the service itself has been stopped. To do that, use the command systemctl status capital S security capital C center, one word. You'll be able to determine if the service is still currently running. If it is still running, use the previous command and change that to systemctl stop security center. Once the service has been stopped, verify with the status command that the service has been stopped. Once indicated that it is inactive, issue the following command, ps hyphen fu tns. This will ensure that there are no processes associated with the user tns. In this case, I do not have any services or processes running associated with my TNS user. To double check and make sure that none of these services associated with TNS is running, you will use the kill all hyphen U TNS, and that will kill any processes associated with TNS. In addition, issue kill all HTTPD. Once you have issued that command and ensure that HTTPD is not running, you can proceed with creating a backup. The command we will be using is tar to create a backup and compress the file. We'll be using tar hyphen P Z C F which will preserve permissions, gzip, create, and a file archive for the opsc directory, which is where Tenable SC is installed. Provide a name for the backup, for slash opsc. You will just hit enter and let that run. Once the process has been complete, you can verify the backup is not corrupt by using the tar command hyphen tvf as in Frank, and that will list all files in the archive verbosely. You'll just type in the backup name, let that run, and it will go through the process and verify that the backup is not corrupt. Once this has been verified, move the backup file to a secure location, and that is the process of creating a backup for your Tenable SC application on a Red Hat or CentOS 6 slash 7 system.